Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing a new reading for you guys and this is specifically for those of you guys out there that are currently single as we um, are currently going to be having Valentine's Day for all of you out there that are currently single. I wanted to make something special for you guys and look into your love life and see uh, what's coming towards you. Now, the question in this uh, reading is going to be, when will you meet uh, your next partner? Uh, this is going to be speaking about time frames, but also their physical attributes. So as you guys can see from my left to right, we have here this beautiful, um, this beautiful um, Let's Conjure. Uh, this was sent to me from my beautiful client. Um, if you are watching this, sweetheart, you know who you are. Um, this is, she sent me a whole bunch of beautiful pins that are just amazing. But anyways, let's get right into your reading. Now from my left to right, this is set number one, Let's Conjure. Set number two, The Little Nub. Set number three, The Ace of Swords. Set number four, The Two of Cups. So I'm going to give you guys some time to really uh, feel into the energies and see which one you're being pulled towards and we will uh, proceed with the reading, okay? So I'll give you guys a couple of minutes. Go ahead and tune into where you're being pulled. Okay, we're going to go with set number one first. So I'm going to pull these a bit back. Okay. All right. So for those of you guys that chose uh, set number one with Let's Conjure. Okay. All right. Let's get right into your reading. Oh, wow. Keep in mind, these are specifically for those of you guys that are currently single. Um, all right. Okay, so I feel that uh, there's going to be a lot of movement in regards to partnerships for this month, actually, February. What they're telling you here is pay close attention to your intuition. You're going to be pulled towards someone that is more homey. Uh, this could signify a person or a personality that tends to be very old school. They like uh, romance. They like to woo their woman. They like to really take their time in approaching and uh, they enjoy that whole, you know, trying to teach you or show you how to fall for them type of energy. Uh, so this is very good energy. Uh, this is definitely something that is going to be playing out for you guys in April. So it could start, um, this could signify you will be meeting them in February, but I think April is going to be uh, that pivotal moment where friendship turns into a relationship, as we do have here the Two of Wands with the Six of Cups. This is a genuine connection. This could turn into um, something more serious in April. Now, I do want to mention for those of you guys that are very close to a specific friend, uh, they could be fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For others of you, this could signify um, this could signify a Pisces energy as well. Uh, or you could be a Pisces energy yourself or a fire energy yourself. Um, but again, like I said, they are definitely, I, I think they're already in your surroundings. But I think that uh, the progression of this relationship turns uh, into a genuine relationship around April. Uh, they may actually speak their feelings to you um, in the in this month of February. So keep an eye out for that. And don't be surprised if it's actually a friend of yours or someone that is in your uh, friend dynamic 
or someone that knows your friends, um, as I do feel that this energy is not necessarily new to you. Uh, this could be a person that is already in your surroundings. So be mindful about that. Now, you do have the Knight of Wands here. So this is a person that could be extremely athletic. I feel that they could have a muscular body for women. They could be very athletic. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, getting over a cold. Um, for men, they could be very athletic, um, more on the beefy side. Uh, for women, I do see you guys... Um, you know, they could be like medium frame, um, not necessarily short. Uh, so for those of you guys, um, for those of you guys that are uh, or have a friend in your surroundings that uh, is not necessarily, I guess she would be, if it's a female, she would be considered like the taller one of the group. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, they could um, be medium complexion to very light complexion. Um, and again, like I said, I do see this progressing into something more long term around April. OK, so now I'm going to pull out the energies for both of you. And what you have here is don't let your past hold you back. So if you guys are currently dealing with past relationships or if you're still dealing with a partner from your past that can get their shit together uh, for the love of your goddess or for the love of your God. Uh, close the door on that and move on from that, okay? It's a time for healing. Allow that healing to happen now so you don't carry baggage into your next relationship, okay? Um, and when I say baggage, I mean you don't want to start something that is genuine. Um, you don't want to start something that is genuine and then, you know, you're still dealing with people from the past and then it comes out in the open that you were still dealing with them while you were talking to this person, you, you don't, you just don't want to jeopardize that. Okay. So keep that in mind, you guys, uh, for some of you guys, you could be a Virgo or you may be dealing with Virgo energy as well. Okay. So let's go on with set number two. Give me one second. All right, set number two, the little nub, the little nub nub. Okay. All right, let's see what's coming towards you around when will you be meeting this person and what their physical attributes are. Okay. All right. All right, my lovelies. So what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a uh, earth energy, Taurus uh, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn type of energy. For others, you may be dealing with a Leo. I do see Scorpio energy here as well. And I want to say for a lot of you guys um, that chose set number two, I feel that this person is going to be very connected to someone in your family. So it could be like a friend of a brother, a friend of a sister type of energy. Um, because this person is already in your, in your surroundings, not only in your surroundings, but, um, within your family dynamics. So again, this person is extremely loyal. I do see them. Uh, like I said, I, f I feel more like they're going to be earth energy towards Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or this could be your energy. Um, or you could be a Scorpio or this person could be a Scorpio as well, or a Leo type of energy. But what they are showing me is this person's coming out of a long-term committed relationship. So this could be a person that was living with someone or this could be a person that was married. And what they're showing me here is that there was some type of hurt, some type of betrayal. Uh, and that's the reason why they find themselves in a current position being single. I think that meeting them, it could have been three years since their divorce or their separation for others, it could be three months that they've separated, um, but I do see them, sorry, I do see them coming towards you, um, being ready, being emotionally ready to start a relationship. So, um, and what they're showing me here is I want to say around June, July, when it starts to get really hot, um, for some of you guys, it could even be me, um, but I'm, I'm feeling very like when it, when it gets very hot, 
uh, June, July. This is around the time that uh, this relationship turns or, or there's actually a fruit of this relationship. So again, keep that in mind. In regards to the physical attributes, this is a person that is very... Um, very passionate, very sexual. Their energy is just very, when they step in a room, you can definitely notice them. It's like everyone takes notice. They know exactly who they are. Uh, this could be a person that is extremely um, good at what they do, meaning how they make a living. So it could be a person that is very financially secure for others. It could just signify a person that is very confident in themselves. Uh, and like I said, it's almost like the moment they walk in a room, they kind of Everyone takes notice. Um, the physical attributes, uh, for some of you guys, this person could have um, very blue, kind of greenish eyes. For others, it could just signify that they have like colored eyes, a uh, hazel light colored eyes. Um, but I definitely do see that this person, what's going to stand out most about them could be their hair. It could be how uh, they do their hair. Uh, if it's a woman, it could be like, you know, that they, they just have a lot of hair, like really thick, beautiful hair. And that's something that stands out very greatly. OK, so I'm going to be pulling out two of the cards that represent both you and them. And uh, you are good enough. So this is the energy that you need to remember or remind yourself. You are good enough. OK, uh, full moon in Virgo. Um, so what they're saying is, again, this could be around the time frame uh, of when the person actually decides to approach you or decides to take it to the next level and the energy is going um, the energy is gaining momentum so again a lot of you guys may experience this um, around May or even before then but I want to say June July is when this person really is really pursuing you and again like I said the energy is gaining momentum so I feel that it's going to come very quicker than you expect or that you even feel like you're ready. Okay. All right. Let's see what set number, set number three has for you guys, which is the Ace of Swords. All righty. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, off the bat, what they're showing me here is this person is going to, um, this person um, could be, oh, wow, okay. Are you guys seeing this? This is so crazy. Okay, so all your cards are major arcanas. So this is destiny. Um, those of you guys that chose set number three, you're coming out of a very tumultuous situation or perhaps even the past two years have been extremely difficult when it comes to relationships, when it comes to partnerships. And it's almost like for some of you guys, you could still be dealing with ex-partners or people that will soon become your ex-partners. And it's like you feel like you've invested and put your whole heart into this situation and it just didn't pan out. And that's okay. Because what Spirit is showing you here is that um, basically celestial beings are taking care of your love life right now so if you're feeling like things have been just not going good for you in the love department know and understand that it will be worth it in the end for some of you you may be dealing with the scorpio uh, for others water energy cancer scorpio pisces for others this person may be an aries or a sagittarius type of energy um, when it comes to time frames uh, what they are showing me here is the month four so it could be in april uh, when this person steps into your life, I feel that this is definitely a new energy. This is not a person that you know of. This is not a person that you're dealing with right now or that is even in your surroundings. This is definitely new energy. And what they're telling you here is that in order for this person to step in, there is certain conclusions or endings that need to happen in your life. And that could be something that you're experiencing at this very moment. With the Tower card, this person comes to you when you least expect it and when you feel like your life is or has been completely transformed. Whether it's negative or positive in this aspect, this person is going to come to you when you most need um, that emotional support. Okay, so if you're feeling like this is the moment where things are just completely crazy, almost catastrophically 
uh, changing your life. Be patient with yourself and understand that higher spirit knows best for you. And what they're doing is they're removing anything that is no longer serving you, even if it comes uh, through destruction or through an ending of something, whether it's relationships, whether it's partnerships, whether it's friends, whatever the situation may be. What they're showing you here is that ultimately what you're doing is you're purging yourself from people, friends, situations that are no longer helping you. And from that, renewal will come. It's kind of like the death of the phoenix and coming back to life and, you know, getting, you know, having a rebirth, a complete transformation. Now, again, when it's when it comes to time frames, they're showing me four, which is month April. But for others of you, this could symbolize, I want to say around the month of October is when it's you're in the month of October for this year. You're going to look back at the situation and you're going to be in complete awe for what has transpired and for what has transformed your life. Okay, so this is a very heavy energy. But the beautiful thing about this is that what they're telling you is if, if at this present time you feel like you're not in control, like your life has been completely turned upside down. Know and understand that there's a higher purpose for this. And the higher purpose for this is the universe bringing to you your true happiness. Okay? Now I'm going to be pulling out two cards. These are the energies that are symbolizing you and your partner. And you have a new start is coming. New moon. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So again, for some of you guys, um, you may even start to experience these changes around uh, Taurus season. For others of you, um, he, here's, okay, so what they're showing me physically is this is a very strong person. Um, whether it's a female or male, they're going to have very strong legs. Uh, this is a person that could be what would be considered um, like thick or what would be considered like buff type of energy. Uh, this is a person that is very motivated. They could be a bit stubborn. Uh, but ultimately, they're gentle when it comes to love and when it comes to romance. So this is a very, very beautiful energy. Um, take the messages for what they are and don't surprise yourself if they come sooner than you're expecting. OK. All right. Finally, let's get into the last reading. With set number four, two of cups. All right, let's see what the messages are. Oh, wow. Okay, for those of you guys that chose set number four, the two of cups, for some of you guys, uh, this could be a Leo energy. For others, this could be a Gemini. Uh, I also see Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in this area, uh, in this Aries, in this sign, in this uh, reading. Sorry, and I also see Aries here as well. So it is a general reading. This could be your sign as well. But what they're showing me here is that um, first of all, off the bat, they're showing me April, May is when this person is stepping in for you guys. Uh, this is when the person will come to you. And I feel that they're coming or walking through your doorway. So this could symbolize a person that if you live in apartments or in a duplex or in a condominium type of um, environment, I feel that this person is moving or relocating into your vicinity. Um, so this is definitely new energy. Um, but at the same time, uh, what they're showing me here is that this person could be very inclined to travel or it could, he could... He or she could be a traveler, someone that is very worldly, someone that is very knowledgeable of different cultures. This is a very cultivated type of energy. This is a brilliant mind, um, but they do have a lot of scattered energy. So what I mean by that is it could be a person that if you tend to be the type of person that loves to plan, that loves to um, basically have like a schedule and go by that. Uh, there could be a bit of frustration because this person could be a bit of a scatterbrain um, because I feel that they're more flowy. They're more, you know, um, spontaneous type of energy. 
and there is definitely a lot of soft type of energy with them so this could be a person that is very tuned in to their masculine and feminine energy it could be a man that you know that is emotional um for others of you it could just symbolize a woman um that is very uh, their personality could be a bit masculine, so they could be a bit intimidating in regards to, uh, you know, being a little bit stubborn or being a little bit difficult to approach because they could come off as like a little bitchy. Um, but ultimately, what they're saying here is that this person could be a very good, um, a good partnership for you more than anything. And I feel that this person comes into your life when there is when you're feeling like you're at crossroads so for some of you guys it could be that you're transitioning uh it could be that you're transitioning in the sense of uh, perhaps leaving a job going into a new job uh starting something new so it could be that you move into a new apartment a new uh duplex or condominium type of um surroundings and that's when you meet this person or it could be them moving there um but ultimately again like i said i do see that they're definitely walking through your door. Uh, so what they're showing me here is um, them coming towards you. Um, it, it could even be like if you own your own house, it could be that they move next door to you. Uh, and that's how the connection happens. Um, and again, like I said, off the bat, you may feel like they're not as interested only because they're a bit scattered. Uh, they could be a bit you know, they could come off as being a bit dorky. Uh, but like I said, they are very cultivated individuals. They are very like educated and they're very much into uh, different types of philosophy, etc. So they have a brilliant mind. Um, but again, with brilliant minds, a lot of the times uh, they could be into like a momentum of things and they could come off as a bit ditzy or a bit dorky. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are. It just means that, uh, you know, sometimes their mind goes a thousand miles per hour and they can't really express themselves. So, again, um, kind of, you know, it kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> so let's pull out um, these two cards that are symbolizing you and them, their energies. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. Um, so what they're show for some of you guys you could be a scorpio yourself or you may be dealing with a moon in scorpio type of energy um what do you need to release so again they're talking about releasing negative energies and releasing things that are no longer serving you uh, this is something that is going to be necessary in order for you to embrace this new beginning now when it comes to physical form or physical attributes uh this could be a person that is um they're very like playful. They could come off as like childlike type of energy. They could be very flirtatious, but in an innocent way. Um, again, like I said, they could be not very much in your face. I feel that they're more on the sensitive side. And uh, in regards to their physical attribute, if they are a female, um, I feel that they could have like a lot of sun energy. Uh, so they could represent um, being, you know, uh, what would be considered um, sun attributes like that of Leo. So it could be their hair, very flowy, like very thick, uh, or even a man. If he's a man, he could even have like long hair. Um, this could also indicate a person that uh, could be a bit from like medium skin to darker skin uh beautiful tan type of energy um but they're not they're not that light complected so they're showing me like an individual that would be from medium complexion to dark complexion um and this is a person that again could come off as being like very airy or standoffy and it's more to do with like the again like they, they just they're not what's the word i'm looking for it could be like you know have you ever gone to the store and you're walking past someone and they're just like la 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 like that type of energy so i don't feel that they're very domineering in their energy or that their presence is known off the bat i think that you notice them only because they could be right in the corner like shying away from people that's the type of energy that i'm sensing here okay so i hope you guys enjoy i hope that this gives you um, excitement for what's to come for you guys. And I wanted to make something special for my singles out there. 
Uh, I know everyone is always like for Valentine's, everyone is always doing for couples type of readings and stuff like that. And I wanted to make something um, optimistic, positive, preparing you for what's to come so that you can put more energy and more effort towards new beginnings so that it comes to you quicker. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys like this, comment below and we'll keep doing these readings. And I send you guys all my love and we'll see each other soon. Bye.